Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Push, Pull, and Legs. My name is Alex Halsey. I'm your instructor today, and welcome to PPL. With every workout you do, you got one less reason to get a BBL. All right, so let's keep on working like we've been doing. Good morning. I hope your day's been good so far. So I hope you guys are ready to get going in this workout. Check your description. You'll see what moves we have coming up. So today's workout is going to be focused on the legs. We're going to have a leg focused slightly more than the upper body. So we still have two upper body moves, but we're going to have three lower body moves. And granted, we're going to be sticking with that same three move sequence where we do one move per sequence, three sequences total. We're going to have two moves where there's a combination of uh, moves that are either going to hit the legs and upper body or one move is going to hit the legs in two different ways. All right. So first move, we got a combo of legs and upper body. The second move, we got two leg combination moves. And then that third move, we just have one uh, upper body move. All right. So again, check the description, you'll see what those moves are. And then I'll demonstrate those at the beginning of every sequence. All right. So again, it's going to be slightly focused on legs. You will need weights for today's class. Keep a variety just in case. Uh, only that second sequence might not require the weights. You can do those two moves in the second sequence without weight. However, keep them around just in case you want to, but you will need the weights for the other two sequences. All right, the first and the third, you will need weights for those, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Keep your weights around, uh, get a variety. If you have a variety, keep all those weights available to you because you might need to cycle through them, all right? So let's go ahead and get warmed up. I'm just gonna start off here with some step back burpees. Just bring your hands down to the floor, step back, bring it up, reach up high. Take your time here, we're just literally getting up and down off the floor to help increase the heart rate. Take your time. Been able to move a little bit throughout this morning already, so I'm actually already warmed up. Slightly more loose than I usually am at this time of day. Feeling pretty good. So I hope you guys can say the same, but if not, it's all good. We'll change that right now. We'll do two more, then we're gonna come down to the floor. One left, and we're gonna come down to the hands and knees. All right, right now, we're coming to cat cow. So you're bringing the crown of your head like you're trying to touch your back, and you're squeezing the glutes and the abs, tucking the chin. One more. All right, and from here, you're gonna reach to your right, bring the left hand across like so, and then switch sides, bring the right hand across. You're trying to push your shoulder to your hip. Bend over to the side like an accordion. Squeeze your obliques on one side. It'll help stretch out the other. Last one. Other side. All right, from here, we're going to come to a runner stretch. Bring the right leg up. Push the knee and the hips forward. If you can, you're going to elevate the back leg. Otherwise, you can keep it bent. You're going to take your right hand, reach up, and then push your right elbow to the floor. Inhale on your way up, exhale on your way down. Last one, up and down from here. We're gonna come up to a split squat. Use the wall for support if you need. Straighten the right leg out, squeeze the right quad. Push your chest toward the floor so you feel the stretch of your hamstring. Hold this position, hold your chest down. From here, you're just gonna bring your left knee down to the floor. Keep your chest down, straighten that right leg out again. 
okay? You should feel a stretch every time you come up. You should feel that stretch on your hamstring. But you have to keep your chest down in order to feel the stretch. Two more. Last one. Switch it up, back down to the floor. Bring your left leg up now. Push the left knee and the hips forward. Bring both hands down on the inside. Again, elevate the back leg if you can. Otherwise, keep it down. Take your left hand, reach up. Push the left elbow down to the floor. Inhaling on the way up, exhale on the way down. Last one. All right, gonna come back up to the top. Same thing on the left side. Push the left, uh, push the, straighten the left leg out, push the chest toward the floor, feel the stretch in the hamstring. Once you do, hold it here, bring the right knee down to the floor and repeat. Have to keep your hips and your torso Rotate it forward in order to feel the stretch in your hamstring right here. Try not to hunch in the back. Keep the back flat, keep it straight. Lean forward, feel that stretch. We got one more. All right. Hold that position, just turn to your right. Gonna come to a straddle. We're going right into windmills. Right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Trying to make sure you guys get loosened up well enough. It's something I know I've needed to do a little bit more of. Hopefully, if you're older, you will appreciate it. Getting warmed up a little bit more as you get older is very important. Keep yourself from getting hurt. One more side. All right, last move. We're going to come down to the floor, roll the shoulders back and pull them down, elevate the hips up, come down. Three more. Two, last one, three. All right, so come on up. We're ready to get started. All right, so move number one. You will need weights for this. An RDL with a row. Alright. So you can do this one legged and one arm at a time, or you can do this two legs and two arms at a time. I'll show you both. Fold over, RDL, row, and up. For one leg, RDL, row, and up. Okay? So that's what we're working with. Six and a half minutes. We're just looking for five to 10 reps per side. If you're doing it one leg at a time, if you're doing two legs and two arms at a time, we're looking for 10 to 15. All right, so even though I have this rep range here, I want you to try to go as many times as you can until you start to feel it. Once you feel yourself getting tired is what I mean. Once you feel yourself start to get tired, take a break, come back and do it again. All right, really want you to stop like one rep before you get tired. But we're looking for effort, really not the reps. The reps are there in case you need it, but I want you to focus on the reps, or focus on the effort. Go until you feel yourself beginning to get tired, take a break, and repeat the same thing for the whole six minutes, all right? So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get to work. All right, so again, you can do this two-legged. RDL, oh, I'm sorry, RDL, you row at the bottom, then you come up. RDL, row, and up. All right, so while you're doing your RDL, you have a slight bend in your knee. You're not doing a squat. You're hinging at the waist, hinging at the hips, meaning you push your butt back and let your chest fall toward the floor. You should feel a stretch behind your thighs and your hamstrings. Once you feel that stretch and you can no longer push your butt back anymore, row, squeeze your butt, push your hips forward, come back to the top, and repeat. All right. Butt comes back, let the chest fall, row, 
Squeeze the butt, push the hips forward, back to the top. Exhale when you pull to row. And you want to make sure you're pulling towards your hip and not your armpit. Pulling backward toward the hip. All right, so I'm going to try to do this one, one side at a time. Same thing applies if you're doing one leg at a time. You still hinge at the hips, you still hinge at the waist. You still pull toward the hip. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Time check. We are at four and a half minutes. So really just looking to stretch the hamstring behind the thigh. You want to feel that stretch every time you go down. All right. If you set that up right, your row will be just, should be still just fine. That's the easy part. Also working on balance if you do this one leg at a time. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Whew. So again, go right before you feel yourself getting tired. Take a breather. Keep on going. If you don't get tired, keep on going. All right. My goal is never to make you guys overly tired. My goal is to do something, have you do something that is doable. So that you can do it as many times as possible. That's the goal. Repetitions. Or quality repetitions. Alright. Pulling toward the hip. Yes, I want you to be able to keep going. But I also want you to be able to repeat that move as many times as possible. With good technique. Good form. Good control. Time check, we're at two and a half minutes. Whew. And if you are doing the row, make sure you exhale when you pull. Slightly squeeze down on your core. Make sure everything stays tight. And hopefully you're getting a forearm workout here holding on to those weights the whole time. If you can do that, good for you. You're training your grip endurance and your grip strength. Hinging at the waist, not Punching the back, keep the shoulders, the chest high, shoulders kind of back a little bit. You should feel like your chest is slightly poking out. Hold that tension in your shoulders and in your core as you hinge. Okay? When you add in that row, it forces you to kind of squeeze down on the core, keep your torso from rotating. Make sure you're pulling back toward the hip. Yes, we do have a slight bend in the knee here. That is okay, but we're just not squatting. We got less 
then a minute to go. We got about 30 seconds remaining. Keep it going. This is warming us up for the second move. Keep it up, guys. Keep going. Almost done. Let's now for the three second beeps. Give it three beeps. That'll let you know there's three seconds left. Then we'll go to the next sequence. All right. Okay. So if you need to grab some water, I'll show you what we got for this next move for this next sequence. You do not need weight for this, but if you want to try it with weight, feel free, but keep it light. All right, so I'll show you what we got. We have a reverse Nordic and a lunge. A Nordic, you're on your knees, push your hips forward by squeezing your butt, cross your arms up at the chest, you're gonna lean back, push your feet into the floor, bring it up, and lunge up. That simple, and then you just switch legs. Two, one, let's get it. So you do not need weights again. You don't need them, but you can try them. Just keep it light, as in less than 10 pounds. So let's repeat. On the knees, squeeze the butt, push the hips forward. Keep the abs nice and tight. Cross up at the top. Lean back. Push forward. Lunge up. Make sure you switch legs every time you lunge. The combination of these two moves is working the quads primarily. We hit the hamstrings in that first move with the RDL. Here, we're focusing on the quads, all right? So if you do have any knee issues, I would suggest just doing the back lunges instead or regular squats, okay? Reason being is because this position may be uncomfortable. Uh, it may even cause some pain, but as long as your abs and your butt are tight, you can keep them tight the whole time. You can begin to reduce the likelihood that this is just discomforting, even if you don't have any knee, knee issues. All right. So it's a high intensity move. Don't go back to the point where you feel like you can't push yourself back up. Okay. We're just looking for a slight stretch in the quads. You'll feel it over your knee and you should feel it along the quad muscle. All right. So lean back. Don't lean back too far. Come forward, push your feet into the mat, and lunge up. All right, so let's keep it going. Take your time. This is not a rush move. This is a take your time move. Butt squeeze, abs tight, crossed up at the chest. Lean back. Lean forward. Switch legs in your lunge. Come up. So if you do this, you should feel it and should understand why you might not need any weight for this move, okay? So it's one thing for it to be uncomfortable, it's another thing for it to hurt. If it just feels awkward, feels slightly uncomfortable, that's normal. If it hurts and it's causing you pain, just opt for the back lunges or squats, or go to the distance, the depth, where you don't experience pain, and then lunge up, okay? So keep the butt squeezed. Again, that's very important. Keep the butt squeezed. That'll help bring your butt and your hamstrings into it. Help offset, help stabilize your uh, knee joint. All right, this move is not for everybody. Again, alternatively, just hit the back lunge or a squat. Or you can do a back lunge and a squat. I think I've given you enough options. So I just hope you're able to focus on your move right now. We've got three and a half minutes to go, so we're halfway there. So again, we're working the quads here. Just if you are doing this Nordic, just keep the butt and the abs squeezed as you lean back and come up. Make sure you're alternating legs and your lunges. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Again, don't go back too far. It's 
to feel this in your quads. It might not feel all that hard right now, but this is definitely something you'll feel the next day or later on today. So again, take your time, keep the butt and the abs squeezed. You have to get up from that lunge at the bottom with no momentum. That makes the lunge even a little bit more challenging than starting from the top. You're starting from the bottom. Take your time, we're trying to minimize any knee motion coming in inward so as you step up we're trying to minimize how much that knee comes in push it out don't let that knee fall inward butt and abs squeezed feel that stretch over the kneecap lunge up Take your time, we got 90 seconds remaining. You shouldn't need any weight for this move. The hard one, the hard part of this move is the lean back. Lean back, butt, squeeze, hips forward, abs on. You should feel that stretch. I'm gonna keep saying it. Whew. You get to work on the upper body after this move. These are two leg moves combined. So we will need the weights for that next and last sequence after this one. Keep it up guys, almost done. We've got 40 seconds remaining. Take your time getting up and down. Be nice to your knees here. Don't slam down on your knees. Remember, don't try not to let that knee cave inward or fall inward as you lunge up. Almost done. All right, and time. Woo, okay. So last move, grab some water if you need it. Just know our last move, we have overhead presses. So simply put, overhead press, you grab your dumbbells, you can do one side at a time, press up, bring it down. I have a kettlebell so my form is slightly different. All right, so the simple overhead press. Alternatively, you can do a pike push up. When you come to a high plank, you're gonna pike up, bring your butt in the sky, and then bring your head to the floor, push away. Same thing applies here in the first two. Do as many as you can, just before you start to get tired or when you feel yourself getting tired, take a break, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do both. Start off with the pike, it's a little bit harder. This is our last sequence, guys, so finish strong. Pike up, walk your feet up, adjust your the width of your hands, bring the head down, press away. I'm gonna try to do two sets, two, three sets of both. I think I can get three of both in here. It's a little bit hard to do it with one arm at a time, uh, but it's also hard to do upside down push-ups to a degree. All right, so you can blend the two just like I am right here if you are able to. You're pretty much going like a down dog, piking the hips up 
and you do a push up from there. Or you can just do a simple overhead press. I suggest you one arm at a time. So that way you can kind of just work on that individual side. If you want to do two together at the same time, that's fine. You can go right, left, left, right, and then two hands. And keep doing that if you want as well. It's all right. Mix it up how you want to here. As long as you're feeling it, you're doing the right thing. So there's one. Let's get another one in. The important thing here is to take your time. Let's get it. doing the pikes remember you're going to be inverted so your breathing is very important right there you'll be able to feel yourself getting fatigued a little bit more readily than if you're just doing the overhead press all right so again blend them up how you want if you do one arm at a time you can do both you can alternate between one arm and both if you want nonetheless looking for effort you're looking for effort all right so full body here, we got our row, we had our hamstrings, we had our quads with the lunge and the Nordic, and here we got the overhead press, getting the shoulders and the triceps. All right, set three, and then I'm going to the single arm overhead presses, here we go. Keep your butt high. Whew. Two and a half minutes to go. So there's three. Switch into the single arm presses now. Feel free to switch up where you are now too. You can go from the overhead pushes to the pikes if you want all right but we are over halfway there we got about two minutes flat remaining keep going guys Woo. all right so i hope you guys are able to like listen to some music if you want while you're doing your workout I keep it in my ears for me, so I definitely would suggest maybe you play some, uh, play some yourself. <sighs> and if you are doing a single arm, I hope you start off with your weaker arm first, your non-dominant arm. You're only as strong as your weakest link, so that'll help you determine how many reps you need to do with your strong side. Less than one minute. Whew, got about six, uh, 50 seconds remaining. Effort, effort, effort. So my right arm, which is here, this is my weaker arm. I hit seven by the time I was done. So let's see if I can keep getting a seven. Six, seven. Woo, we got less than 20 seconds. Finish out on the left side here. Well, it's not for the three second beeps. I 
All right, ah, and we're done. Whew. All right, good work, guys. I did not phone in my workout today. I did that whole thing, all jokes aside. I was really focused on my upper body. <laughs> I did legs yesterday. Then we had a leg focused one today. Could have used weight with that second uh, sequence, but I chose not to just to keep it bearable for myself. I hope you were able to get a good workout from these moves. I hope you were able to figure out which move to do so you could get a good workout. All right, so again, we're always looking for effort here. I want you to be able to do the move and then continue to repeat the move. I'm not trying to kill you. All right. So good work, guys. We're going to stretch out real quick. After I get a little bit of water, if I have any. Oh, there it is. <sighs> okay. Come it down to the floor. We're going to stretch out these arms real quick. Coming down to the belly. Gonna take your right arm, reach up as high as you can, flip your palm to the ceiling, and then bring your palm into your shoulder. Grab your right palm, your right wrist with your left hand, and just lean your hand onto your right arm. We're trying to stretch out the elbow right here. And relax and switch. Reach up nice and high with the left. Bring the left palm into the left shoulder. Grab the left wrist with the right hand, laying the head over onto the left arm. Same thing, stretching out the left tricep. And relax, you're gonna bring the right arm to three o'clock. And you're going to turn to your left. The higher you reach your arm, the more you'll feel that stretch. You can kind of creep your arm up to feel it in your chest a little bit more. And switch sides. Bring the left hand to nine o'clock and turn to your right. And relax. All right, so go ahead and take the right leg, grab it with both hands, pull it in towards your butt. You're gonna squeeze your right glute and slightly tense up your abs to feel this stretch a little bit more in your quad. And relax and switch. Same things, pull the left heel into your butt, squeeze the left glute a little bit and slightly tense up the abs. And relax, you're gonna come up to a knee, stretch out your right leg, straighten out the right leg, rotate the hips like you're trying to poke your butt out, push the chest toward the thigh.
and relax. Switch sides. Straighten the left leg out. Squeeze that quad. Keep the leg straight. Poke the butt out. Push the chest toward the thigh. Don't let that leg straighten out. And up. Okay, so that is our class for today. Thank y'all for joining me. I do hope you feel this in your quads a little bit later and your hamstrings too. Hope y'all enjoyed that workout and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Holla.